There's not many things better in life than a beautiful crispy potato. And me and Tesco have put together a gorgeous little dish that you can enjoy this spring. So we're gonna be doing those crispy potatoes with the most incredible pickled veg, beautiful dollops of minty yogurt, and gorgeous soft cooked eggs. This is an amazing salad that I know you're gonna love. So all of this is gonna happen in two pans. We're not even gonna turn the oven on, which is great. I've got a kilo of lovely new potatoes here. By cutting them in half, we're gonna speed up the cooking time. So they take about 15 to 20 minutes. I like cooking the potatoes this way because you get a gorgeous crispy outside, a nice soft inside. You can flavor them with different herbs if you want to. So this will be enough for four people or more because it's quite a generous portion. So this goes into the pan. What I'm gonna do now is season that with some salt, some pepper and a little olive oil so that that can get nice and golden and then give it a little shake. And get all the potatoes in one layer and then cook it on a medium high heat to give it a nice color and cook them through so they're really nice and soft. So while they cook, I'm gonna show you how to make a really beautiful quick pickle. Super, super simple. Get your cucumber, badly peel it so I can expose more of the cucumber to the vinegar. Run the knife down the length just run a little teaspoon and just take out this watery inside because this is kind of stodgy and soft and I want that crunch. So doing that takes no time at all. With the cucumber now, line it up and just cut it into centimetre chunks like that. Look at that. And then we're going to take probably one of the most underrated veggies, a radish, right? Yeah, we know them from like salads and stuff, but you can actually roast them you can pan cook them, they're amazing in stir fries. Of course, you've got the crunch. They're also nice and mustardy. So just a little half a bag like that, finely slice it. Absolutely beautiful, lovely colors. And I think at this time of year, you want those fresher, crunchier flavors, lighter food, springs here, optimism in the air. It's kind of, it's good vibes. Give this a nice little toss again. And if you do that quite regularly, then you'll get a nice, even golden color on these beautiful potatoes. So to turn this into a quick pickle, just take a nice little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper like this, and then a generous swig of vinegar, two or three tablespoons. That's gonna give it the tang. And then simply just dress it, and you've got an amazing quick pickle. And this is always amazing with roasted meats, grilled meats, and in this case, lovely golden hot crispy potatoes. Listen to that sound. You know it's gonna be exciting. Okay, so we want perfectly cooked soft boiled eggs. So I want four eggs going in there. Uh, when it comes to cooking the perfect boiled egg, put a tiny pinch of salt into the water because inside the egg is a small amount of sodium, salt, okay? So if there's none in there and there's some in there, that's only gonna help to create a cracked egg. We don't want that. Also, these are not from the fridge. These are room temperature, the eggs. So I'll take that in a slotted spoon and then I'll just dip it into the water, in and out, just so it doesn't shock the shell. And we'll do that with four eggs. Now we're gonna cook this for soft boiled for exactly, to the second, six minutes. No time before, no time after. Beautiful. So the eggs have gone in. Okay, next up, I'm gonna do a beautiful minted yogurt sauce. It's the simplest thing to make. All you need is about eight tablespoons of lovely Greek yogurt. It's thick, it's creamy, and it's gonna be gorgeous. We're gonna season it with salt and pepper. Take half a bunch of mint and just chop it up. The smell is just amazing. I think mint is a great herb with this dish. What I love about this salad is it's surprising. It's the contrast between hot and crispy and cold, crunchy and tangy. Love it. And then the creaminess of this yogurt. Now you could have it as a lovely lunch on its own, but if you wanted to sort of make it part of a bigger meal or roast chicken, pork chops, you know, stuff like that, it is brilliant. Really, really good. Now before I stir that, just a little bit of olive oil, a little swig of vinegar just to give it a tang. You don't need much. I've got some lovely Dijon mustard, which works really well with the new potatoes. Just a nice heaped teaspoon, gorgeous. And then give it a nice little stir. If you haven't got any fresh mint, dried mint works really, really well. Have a little taste. If it needs any seasoning, you can adjust that. 
Potatoes are good, look at that. They're getting nice and crispy. The timing on my eggs is up. If I just left it here to steam, in a minute and a half, it will be fully cooked, right? It wouldn't be runny. So we get that just in some cold water and that will stop it. But not only that, the cold water will help that little membrane of the egg separate from the shell. It will be much easier to peel. While that water's still on, I want to use that heat to celebrate a fantastic veggie that we often keep in the freezer. So about 300 grams of frozen peas. Often you use peas as like a typical veg, just boiled, tossing some butter. Love it, by the way, love it. But you can use it in salads in the most beautiful way. So that sauce is ready to go. The rest of the mint, I will just sprinkle over the top. The peas have had a couple of minutes and I just want to drain these. So in we go like that. And then just give them a little cold water and then we're good to go. The lovely peas we can put in with our cucumber and radish. Give it a nice little dressing. Get it in that pickle. It is gonna taste very yummy. Let's now peel the eggs. What I tend to do is just tap them on a board like that and then just gently roll them. And that for me has always worked very, very well. But because we chilled it in the cold water, it's definitely nice and easy to peel these. So I've got the eggs done. Okay, let's put it together. So what I love to do with this salad is serve it on a nice big platter or board. This, you can hear, this is getting really crispy. These potatoes have had about 20 minutes, all in all, but you know when they're ready, when they're golden, crisp, and soft on the inside. So this, I just shake onto a nice big board or platter. I then take the crunchy salad like this and nestle this in the middle and then sprinkle some of these around. Then we're gonna get our lovely eggs and hopefully they're perfectly cooked, which they are. You can go halves or quarters, whatever you like. Beautiful. Then we'll take that lovely minted yogurt and just spoon that over the potatoes. So it kind of acts like mayonnaise, but much more healthy and actually much more delicious as well. Really, really nice. And then last but not least, those extra mint leaves and a pinch of pepper. Gorgeous. Let's have a little try, come on. People often say that salads are boring, not interesting, and I think this breaks that old tale. And I said this was for four, you could serve more. Get in there. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I love how the potatoes have gone crispy, almost caught a little bit too much, and they're hot and then the veggies are so crunchy and the peas just pop and they're so sweet. It's lovely to hero the radish. And then of course the ooziness of that perfectly cooked egg. So rich, silky, and that minted yogurt. It's such a nice combination. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go down to Tesco, get the ingredients and get cooking. Come on, you're gonna love this.